Hi guys, it's Rachel with Rachel's Remedies and today I am on day three of fasting. I am three days and two hours into fasting. So I feel great, I feel energized, I have a lot of clarity, mental clarity. Um, I, I'm not craving food as much like when I see food. My thing is visual, if there's no food around then I'm great. It's when I heat up the grill or heat up the griddle and start cooking for others that I'm like, oh, that looks so good. So today though, I've been better. Um, I'm not as cravy. Um, I have some diarrhea. We call it D. Uh, if you get D um, ever, you're going to take activated charcoal. In fact, I'm going to take some right now. Um, I'm going to take four because that's how many I need. You can take as many as you want. It's a black activated charcoal. Just take it with water. It will um, it will trap gases. It will trap fluid. It will bind itself to any toxins in your body. If you get the throw up virus, take charcoal right after it's over. As soon as you can take some water down, um, we make a ginger or homemade ginger ale. We drink our ginger ale, and once we can keep down a cup of it, we immediately start taking charcoal, and we don't get the diarrhea. We don't get the after burner effect of stomach virus. Great. So take charcoal if you have D. Um, I didn't have it the first couple days, but today I got some. Um, the other, probably part of the reason is I started getting leg cramps in the middle of the night. I started taking magnesium pills. Um, I don't know, for me, magnesium pills don't do as much as this. Calm um, is magnesium citrate which if you take too much, it will give you diarrhea. But it's uh, if you have like leg cramping, muscle spasms, you're either magnesium or potassium deficient. And if you take Calm, this is the only thing I found that helps immediately. My body absorbs it really well, so I took Calm. Um, I make a little drink. Um, I have my water. I try to alternate water and then I'll do a, a yummy drink. So my drink, the Calm is, uh, it says two teaspoons. I can, I can never do that. I've always done one teaspoon. I'll do a teaspoon of Calm. I'll do a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. And then I will do a stir, which is this product right here. It's delicious. It sweetens and makes it taste like Kool-Aid. Um, and then I'll also add two ounces of aloe vera if I have it. But I'll make that little drink in the morning, and that drink, it helps. You're, when you're fasting, you're cleansing, you're purifying, and the Calm helps. You need magnesium. Uh, that's the one thing. If, you, if, you only had, if I only had one supplement, I would do magnesium. And then the apple cider vinegar just helps. Your kidneys are being cleansed, and the apple cider vinegar like kind of doubles the cleansing power, um, and the store makes it sweet. So... I keep my cup with me at all times. And then um, I'm trying to, and it's a little sad a few moments of the day, but now if you are fasting for the first time, just try 16 hour fast. If you're fasting uh, for the second try, time, try 18 hours. I don't recommend jumping into a seven day fast the first time you fast. Um, fasting is something that can cause anxiety, panic attacks, fear. I know when I started this fast, I um, I felt like this fear of failure, like I'm gonna fast for seven days, I'm saying that, but if I make it to three days, I'll be really proud of myself. So I'm really proud of myself, I made it to three days. My next commitment to myself was if I make it to five, I'll be really, really proud of myself. I don't think I've ever fasted five days. So I've made it to three, I'm really happy uh, with how I'm feeling. Um, and then I wanted to share just a couple of cheap uh, beauty tricks while I'm doing this video. Um, the first one is clay. Um, the bentonite clay, and my bag looks really bad. My clay lasts me a year. Um, bentonite clay, its highest power lies in the ability to absorb toxins, impurities, heavy metals, and other internal components. Its structure attracts and soaks up poisons. So just like the charcoal, the charcoal will soak up poison. If you get a snake bite and you pour activated charcoal in the bite, the activated charcoal will suck up the venom. 
So the same thing with a bentonite clay. My favorite bentonite clay, and I'll put the link below, is from the Bulk Herb Store. It's real smooth, and um, some bentonite clays, Aztec, it gets a little um, kind of crumbly. I don't, I don't like that as much. My chicken, my two children got the chicken pox. I smeared this all over their skin, and it. Uh, they only had the chicken pox for 48. They had a full case. They were done in 48 hours. If you have so, if you if you have eczema or psoriasis, you're gonna take a little of this clay, and you're gonna put it in your hand. It's just powder. It's like powder, and you're gonna add water to it, and it becomes slippery. And you're gonna smooth it all over. Uh, you can do it on your face for a mask. It's the best mask ever. Um, but if you have eczema or psoriasis. Get some of the Glad Press and Seal, and you're going to take a strip off. Put the clay on the inside, wherever your eczema is, if it's inside your arm. Some people get it, uh, psoriasis, it goes up on their face and it's very painful. Put it on there, wet it so it's real wet and slimy, and then you're going to put the Press and Seal on your body like that, and then wrap it loosely. So and you're going to do this at night before bed. Wrap it loosely with a towel or something so it's not like crun crunchy sounding. And um, in the morning, you will find your eczema or psoriasis is, feels so much better. It's very cooling. Um, what this bentonite clay does when it comes into contact with skin is it will suck out venom. Um, and even venom, eczema or psoriasis or some of these skin things that we have, it's just your liver's way of saying, you're stressing me out. So I'm pushing this stress up to the skin level, um, either eating too much sugar, too many um, carbs, whatever it may be. So the bentonite clay is awesome. A pound is maybe $10. It lasts over a year. One time, one of my children got 40 ant bites. They sat in a fire ant pile. I brought them in. I covered them with clay. I had them lay on a towel for about um, five minutes maybe. When I washed the clay off, um, normally when you get a fire ant bite, there's a little uh, yellow pustule in the middle. There's no yellow pustule in any of the bites. My child never itched those fire ants. The same thing with the chicken pox. So my child got the chicken pox, I just covered, I would make them get in the shower a couple times a day, cover their entire, all the pox with the clay, made them lay down for 10 minutes, and then we'd wash it off. No itching, because it, it just kind of took, it took, it's pull, it's pulling that virus out of the body very powerful. The reason I'm bringing this up during fasting is because your skin is your biggest organ in your body. So when you're fasting, you can do cheap and easy mask and you can do um, just little things that help kind of get, get the toxins out of your skin, out of your body. Another really cheap, fabulous um, thing uh, is take coffee. If you make coffee, especially organic, just take the grounds and you're going to rub them, now we have a shower that's conducive to this, rub them into your skin and you're gonna rub your whole body with the coffee grounds. And what that does, it exfoliates your skin. Coffee has some oil in it and it, so it, it, uh, it's like an, it's, um, an antioxidant oil. It has antioxidant properties. Your entire body will feel amazing. It, it's the best exfoliant on the market. I never buy sugar scrubs or any of that because I have coffee grounds every day. And I'll talk about that more tomorrow. It's another cheap beauty trick, um, why I have so much coffee. But this, uh, these little coffee grounds, we do them once a week. My husband and I both do it. It just makes your skin feel fabulous. And you, lotion, there's nothing you can do. Loofahs, all of that. I don't do any of those things. I do coffee grounds. Okay, my last show and tell today is my Dead Sea Mud Mask. We went to Israel last year, a couple years ago, and the Dead Sea Mud was, you can just tell, it has all of these properties for your skin. Well, they have this Dead Sea Mud Mask on Amazon. I'm gonna put it really close so you can see it. And um, I do this at least once a week on my face. I used to do the bentonite clay. The thing about the bentonite clay is you have to wet it. It's dry, it's cheap, you have to wet it. This one's a little more expensive, not that much, maybe eight to ten dollars. That's what it looks like on the inside. It's already compounded, it already has the wet in it. Um, and it lasts a long time. These three products, one was 
free in my opinion because I used the coffee for something else. The bentonite clay is $9, the med mask is $10. Um, Glad Press and Seal, you probably have that in your home. You have some amazing remedies, amazing skin, skin treatments for under $20. Um, the last time I got a facial, the woman was like, why are you getting a facial? You don't need that. Um, and I know it's because of coffee and clay um, and some of the stuff that I'm doing at home. So anyway, I hope this helps you. I, I'm loving fasting so far. I'm feeling really good, really strong. And tomorrow I will report on day four. All right. See y'all later. Thanks. Bye-bye.